still tracking tracking those thunderstorms on the eastern slopes of the Sacramento Mountains. And you can see they're slowly starting to meander off to the east of the Sacramento Mountains, but still some decent amounts of rain coming from these storms. Also, lots of lightning associated with them. There is right now flooding ongoing due to these storms. And we still have rich moisture across our area. The green colors, that represents where thunderstorms actually are occurring but we have drier air off to our west that's going to stay off to our west for the next couple days as we keep those rain chances in the forecast our latest future track model showing las cruces and el paso will be staying dry for the rest of tonight just this model showing some cloudy conditions but tomorrow we got a better chance for some rain so waking up tomorrow still just some clouds in the sky looks like no rain at at the seven o'clock hour. Right around 12 though, we'll start to see storms pop up on the Sacramento Mountains, possibly even in our far eastern counties. But tomorrow afternoon is when we have a better chance for seeing some thunderstorms develop across our entire area. We're seeing scattered thunderstorms in our far eastern counties, up in Otero County, also e even in El Paso and Doña Ana County. By the six o'clock hour, still those storms are uh, going to be continuing in our far eastern counties. Otero County and where these storms do form there is a there's a low chance of seeing some flooding but if we do see any more flash flood warnings I do think it would be up on the Sacramento mountains this model showing storms lasting at least until tomorrow night at 10 so keeping a 30% rain chance for the next three days but it will start to slowly drop off through the beginning of next week right now here's our current temperatures 89 in El Paso, 87 in Las Cruces, and this is about as warm as we're going to get today. I don't think we'll be warming up too many more degrees this afternoon. 75 out in Sierra Blanca. So the rest of your evening will be fairly nice. Temperatures will drop into the low 80s by 9 and upper 70s by 11 with keeping lower rain chances. So yes, it's Labor Day weekend, so I'm giving it the green light. We have a 30% chance of rain both days. But that's still a very low chance of rain. A lot of activities, maybe barbecues going on. I think you're going to be good to do all that kind of stuff. So 90 tomorrow, 90 on Saturday as well. 89 for your Sunday. And watch as the rain chances drop off through the beginning of next week.